Hello everyone, and welcome back to the adventures of Carid Luray. Alright, last we left off, uh, Carid and the group discussed uh, affairs with Elhan, uh, the elven commander of forces from Sultan Nesselar. He enters in his journal. Elhan has requested my service none too subtly. To reach Irenicus, I must first help the elves gain entry to their own city, Sultan Nesselar. Irenicus has hidden it using illusionary magic, um, excuse me, illusionary magics of some sort that defy dispelling. If we are to regain access, I have to retrieve the Rin Lanthorn, an artifact lantern that is attuned to the elven nation. Elhan believes that someone powerful that follows Irenicus stole it from the dese desecrated elven temple. And I have a very clear idea just who that might be. That would be Bodhi. I will not receive help from the elves in tracking her, even though I am certain I am familiar with her old stomping ground. Elhan has advised that he cannot follow with his battalions for risk of causing an even larger incident, this time with paranoid human forces. He suggested that I seek out allies among the groups I have already met within human territory. A decent idea... But Carrot's first compulsion is to try to find uh, Sultan Nisalar himself. Because he really doesn't want to have to face Bodhi on her own terms again, especially when the party is not really all that well prepared for her. So he's thinking that the group will actually start to explore in these forested areas to the south of Trade Me, in hopes of finding it. And as you can see, these are all the other places that we've been on the map since we left. Uh, yeah, when it means it's red, it means you can't actually go there. It's unreachable. So there's no going back. Alright, so let's go then to... which is far and closest? Looks like the Small Teeth Pass. Let's go there first. You are more than welcome in my sight. They're approached by someone saying, Hold, and let justice take its rightful measure. You will know this day that you have suffered Harper justice. What is this? Revian, what are you doing here? It is I, Jahira. So I can see. It pains me to do this, but a traitor's death is what you deserve. Jahira saying, what? If this is about the attack at the Harper Hold, you know I would not do such a thing if I had any alternative. They left me no choice. I know not of what you speak, Jahira. Explain yourself. It was Galvary. He had me bring my companion there on the pretense of determining his danger, but he had no intention of letting Carrie Luray leave once there. The Harpers know only that there was an attack and Galvary is dead. The loss of such a promising person sent waves to the ranks and... Bah! He was a fool bent on advancing his own station. His intent was to use Caer Luray as a trophy, hoping to gain enough influence to become a herald. This seems far-fetched, Tahira. You are well known to have hated Galvary. And why should this man command such value? Hmm, what would Caer say? He would probably say either this or this. But considering all the people who are after him at this point, is it really... <laughs> is this really even a secret anymore, as far as Carrot is concerned? And besides, he would think of Jahira's welfare first. Tell her what I am if it will help your case, Jahira. I will not keep secrets that can harm you. As you wish. Revenant with Carrot Ray is of interest because he is one of the children. Galvary wishes to capitalize on the fear around the prophecies of old. This is a ball child, and you trust him over one of your own. You must do as you will, Revian. I have told you my circumstance. There is little more for me to stay. Well, Carrot obviously doesn't want more trouble with the Harpers, especially if uh, Galvary acted alone or under his own ambition. Stand down your weapons, Jahira. We need not shed any blood here today. I will not draw arms against you, Revian. This has been a huge mistake, and I will not be party to making another. I know you to be truthful, Jahira, and I have heard good things of Caird Luray. I will try to sway the others, but passions run high in this matter. Ah, uh, we are all heroes. Dermon? You and Is Boo and you? I, hunters and time. rangers everywhere, rejoice! Calm down, Minsk. Indeed. It has been a very long time. What is the matter, Dermon? You would not have let me walk on by, would you? I know we do not always see eye to eye, but I assure you the respect... I may well have let you pass, for there is no joy in my visit today. Jahira, do you remember the lessons I taught you? Of, of course. You were the one that introduced me to the Harpers. Yes, yes, but the lessons. 
What, what are you getting at, Dermon? I am not here to rehash our friendship. Jahira, I have been sent to kill you, or otherwise seek your downfall, and I do not relish the duty. I see. And what power has decided that I should be killed? I serve nature and protect the good of the land on my work through my work as a harper. Who have I offended? Who? Jahira, you travel with a killer of harpers. I do not wish to think you had any complicity in those acts, but here he is, and he is still alive. I have washed my hands of the incident in the harper hold. Galvary was in the wrong and brought his fate upon himself. We know nothing of this. There is only the fact that you, you and your friend, were the cause of many deaths. This cannot be ignored. He was in the wrong, of that I am certain. Galvary sought to imprison Carrot Leray for his own gain, and I took the side of right. I could do no other. It is not seen that way, Jahira. Exact the necessary justice. That is the only route to redemption for you. The others will not accept you otherwise. But this is wrong, Derman. This is not the right solution. I cannot see this ending otherwise, Jahira. Your own have died. What do you intend to do about it? Hmm. What would Caird think about this? He obviously doesn't want to create more problems for Jahira or anger the Harpers even more than he already has. He's not going to threaten her. Alright, to meddle. Let's just say, this is an unfortunate situation they've placed you in, Jahira. I trust your judgment, though. And Caird does. Dermon, I... Dermon, I cannot do as you ask. You were in the wrong, as was Galvary. I was right to choose Carol Ray's side, and it is your loss if you cannot see this. Consider carefully what you are saying, child. You have a duty to justice. This is not justice. This is revenge for a lie, a falsehood that none seem bothered to find the truth behind. If this is Harper justice, then I... What are you saying, Jahira? If this is the justice you represent, then... I renounce you. I renounce... I renounce my life as a harper. Jahira, you cannot mean. Think this through. It would seem I am the only one that has thought any of this through. You do not. Galvary did not. And now the harpers, out for blood, do not. I mourn many fellows of the harp, but they died fighting for balance and truth. Galvary did not, and this matter cheapens their loss. I will not be party to it. So be it, then. I will take your words to those that will listen. Do not expect your life to be peaceful with this choice. It shall not be peaceful, but it is clearer than the course you are on. Goodbye, Derman. Um, I guess he would try to comfort her. You have a place here, Jahira, regardless of this mess. Or would he say... That's a thing. He does want to be... Well, he doesn't want to be a burden, but... He doesn't want her to go. And she certainly doesn't want her to... Agree with her fellow Harpers. I thank you, Carrot, but part of me is gone. I... I will speak no more of this. This is behind me. I must go forward. Come, we have friends to avenge. Jahira renounces her Harper status. That is... A major decision on her part. I guess that shows just how committed she is to, uh... Carrot and the others. Which she finds pretty heartwarming, but it's unfortunate it had to come to that. And what the hell? Apparently there are werewolves in the area. Well, let's fix that. Okay, werewolves disposed of. And they attacked us, and we took care of them. What's over here? Oh boy, Ankegs. Remember these fellows? Too bad Ankeg plate really isn't decent for us anymore, but I don't know. If they're gonna spit acid at us, we might as well make them pay for it.
Well, so much for all of you. I guess the soil just won't get as aerated now as it usually does. This kind of looks like a strange little hut, but there doesn't seem to be anything in it. It's odd. What's up this way? This seems to kind of end in a... there. Perhaps this is the way forward. It's a groundhog! Friend for Boo? Here, Minsk, try to talk to it. Talk to the... Aw, the groundhog went away! Oh, wait, no, it didn't. Talk to him. Groundhog has nothing to say to you. Well, let's charm the groundhog. You're our friend now! Come on, groundhog! Meet Boo! Oh, who's this? It's another groundhog! Ho 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 ho! Maybe Mince can, uh, get these two to make some little groundhog babies. Alright, we've got some groundhogs now. Who knows what's gonna happen. Well, this is where we killed the werewolves. There appears to be a rickety old looking bridge. Let's hope it doesn't fall apart. And, wow, let's hope there aren't horrible shadow monsters on the other side, but of course there are. Attack! So many of them! Don't risk your lives, groundhogs! You're too young to die! Wait, why didn't that thing die yet? Oh, it's a shadow fiend. Tougher than your normal shadow. Shadows defeated. Luckily, there were no groundhog casualties. Hmm, this pass is really pretty. Doesn't seem to be terribly much going on here, though. Except for the storm that seems to be brewing. What is that? Oh, pheasants! Goodness! Alright, let's let's get more animal friends. Come on, Mincy, you can do this. There you go. Oh, we got ourselves a pheasant. thought there was another one. Oh, there is! Alright, Minsk. Gonna need your animal charming abilities. Where'd the other pheasant go? He was right here! Oh, there he is. Come, my animal friends! Band together! Or... or don't. Whatever. Um... What was that? Oh boy, more shadows. Well, let's express our contempt for them. Alright, oh, there's another Shadow Fiend. Let's take care of him. Keep fighting! Fighting in the rainstorm at night against the shadows. Alright, well, we took care of them easily enough. And it looks like this pass leads over this way because. This doesn't seem to go anywhere. Yeah, it's blocked off. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna go in this direction, then. Doesn't seem to be anything here other than a way to get to the North Forest and the Forest of Tethir. Let's try going into the North Forest, pushing onward. Of course. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. There, there seem to be hostile mummies over that way. Well, that's a bit of a problem. That's a, that's a big problem, actually. Alright, well, let's uh, express our contempt for them by throwing some very nasty magic over their way. And that seems reasonable. Um, summon insects, maybe? Emowin? 
What do you have? Spell turning. That's a bit advanced for this. Maybe something a bit simpler. More and sword. That's a good idea. And Minsk, you hang out for a second, please. Alright, they're gonna start using the same kind of nasty magic. Alright, so let's focus on killing off these problem enemies. Disintegrate. God, hell, why not? They're dangerous creatures. Let's just start getting rid of them with extreme force. Well, maybe we can even... Wait, they're magic users. I'll summon the Hakea Shar. Did anyone summon the sword yet? Oh no, it looks like her spell got interrupted. Maybe she can use this wand. Well, she can try. Ah, oh, magic resistance protected him. Go, Hakeashar! Oh, don't let him hit you. Alright, well, we obviously shouldn't get close enough that he can use... She doesn't have any sling bullets left. Ooh, that's a problem. Oh, he's paralyzed now. Excellent. Shoot, my friend, shoot! Whew. Question is, what were these nasty genies doing here? No idea. Hmm, there seems to be a grave here that they were protecting. Well, we all know what Yan's like. Whoa, lots of valuables here. Yoink, yoink. And let's just say it's the grave of some horrible, evil, m monstrous enemy who obviously needs to have all the crap stolen. I think the adventurers are pretty well experienced at this point, realize that this kind of thing, hell, it just happens. Summon Fiend, wow, that's a powerful spell. And this appears to be a Spear plus three. Very powerful spear. We actually already have one, so it's just going to go in with that junk. Ah, wow. All right, well, Minsk is regenerating. Uh, oh, poor Yan here doesn't, so we're going to put some basic healing around the group. Alright, that should be decent enough. Um, hmm. Well, we defeated these Dao. I suppose we could continue looking around inside the forest here and see what we find. There's a moose. We could have Minsk try to charm it. Why the hell not? Hey, moosey! Welcome to the group. We'll call you... Yeah, we'll call you Bullwinkle. I know it's a bit cliche. But why the hell not? The hell? It's a band of adventurers. Oh, and they are definitely hostile. They're casting nasty spells. They do not look like they're happy to see us in the slightest. Um, uh, Jahir is going to summon help. Carrot is going to... What is he going to do? He should do something that's powerful. Ah, power word stun. Alright, on probably the cleric. Alright. Yan, hold a monster, maybe on the warrior, Emowyn, um, summon help, and set it, uh, Moosey should obviously run in there and help, because that's what Mooses do, and Minsk should probably rush one of the enemies. Do they have a wizard? They do. He's gonna rush the wizard. Because that's what smart fighters do. And he's probably gonna want to drink a healing potion or two. Alright, we're obviously gonna try to breach through the stone skin of the mage. Um, Yan? What is this that's coming towards us? Oh, that's an enemy. Um, well, he looks like a problem, so we're going to maze him. Chira will... 
he's got to help out somehow, so let's try to move in and uh, distract uh, one of the archers. Oh shit! One of them just froze time! Looks like the mage did. Time stop. Well, let's hope he doesn't ca you know, cast something terrible that kills Carrot. Considering he already got badly injured by apparently one of the thieves. Alright, Carrot's gonna drink a healing potion. And desperately try to run away, Imowen. It's your turn to try to save Carrot. Uh, gosh. Yan, do you have a hold spell of some kind? Or anything that can try to keep this guy from doing what he's doing to Garrett. Alright. <laughs> Let's see if they can stop him somehow. Maybe Chaos. Garrett's just gonna keep running away. Gan is fighting with a mage, not really having much luck. Here's fighting with the archer. Quaif's a potion, that's no good. Alright, Carrot is gonna have to cast Improved Invisibility if he wants to live. Come on. Okay, there he goes. That ought to keep him alive. Alright. Misk is in trouble. He definitely needs to get out of there. Wow, this is turning into a real mess. Alright, badly injured. Oof. Didn't think this would happen like this. Alright, so let's see how we can recover from this scenario. Something... Fireball is just too dangerous and there are too many magic protection going on right now. We need to start trying to pierce through his defenses. Um... We're gonna cast Dispel Magic over here. While well, Carrot cast True Sight. Emowyn is going to cast Improved Invisibility as well. Minsk is going to try to keep moving. Alright, the illusion is dispelled. The Hekea Shar is back. Going to send the Hekea Shar after the mage and send this Minsk after that mage. Oh, it looks like he's about to get mazed. Yep, sure enough, Minsk just got mazed. Alright, Jahira is gonna have to go after that mage as well. Yan? Oh, well. What is he gonna do? Um... Does he have a minor contingency at the ready? He does. Alright, well, let's just try to use, uh... some... Minor spell sequencers just try to kill that mage as quickly as possible. Because otherwise, I think the crew is going to be in real danger. Alright, everybody. Magic Missile Storm! Okay, that does not seem to be working, unfortunately. <laughs> um. Oh, what are we going to do here? Alright, I guess we'll try to conveniently shoot our fireballs off to the side, so hopefully they won't hit Jahira. And... Try to breach through the spell protection. Jared, we've really got to put some nasty magic out there. Maybe, uh... I don't think the death spell's gonna do anything. Let's summon up a wyvern. Alright, Jahira is starting to panic. That is not a good sight. The mate says scatter. Jahira is badly went injured and is being attacked. Ooh. This is still a very bad situation. Oracle, maybe? Emelyn? Uh, protection from magical weapons. I think you're gonna have to be our fighter here for a second. 
Oh, did you hear a run? Mage is after her. Ugh. Maybe if we cast a death spell, it'll... I highly doubt it's gonna actually do anything that useful. And the magic resistance of these creatures is already so high to begin with. I'm gonna send Imowen after it. Maybe it'll be able to stop it. Alright, the group obviously needs to summon more help if possible. Or just start getting rid of their hated enemies with uh, extreme prejudice. Like with a spell like that. And this. Alright, Imun is moving to the rescue, trying to save Jahira. Alright, we killed off one of them. The Priest of Sirik is still alive, and so is the Dwaygar. We obviously need to kill that Priest of Sirik before he creates even more problems than he already has. Alright, we got him. Alright, Imowen, you're coming under attack now from many very dangerous enemies. Alright, it's time to... Aha! Resist fear! That's what's gonna keep Jahira. Get her back in action. Alright, so she's gonna cast Resist Fear on Jahira. Alright, we need to kill off that Dwaygar before he really creates big problems. So let's have... Characters use magic missile on him. Alright, Jahira is regained her senses. She can drink a healing potion. She can summon up Kithix the spider. Imowen should obviously cast a uh, mirrored image. We need to get rid of that dwarven fighter gentleman before he creates uh, real problems for us.